What's up, guys? It's Tim from Coastal Life Media. First of all, thank you so much for joining me in the second Planet Coaster series of my YouTube channel and also the second episode of this series, Oak Brook Park. First of all, um, if you guys are unfamiliar with what Oak Brook Park is, it is a park that I modeled loosely off of uh, both Chocolate Town at Hershey Park and Oak Brook Mall in Oak Brook, Illinois. Uh, it's basically a mix of both and I really wanted to try to see if I could fit those two concepts into one so far so good uh, I haven't ran into that many challenges, but we'll see as things progress uh, What you guys are gonna see in this episode is basically a continuation of me building the entrance plaza um, I'm gonna see me do a little bit of detail work the entrance plaza even to this day that I'm recording it is not 100% complete uh, I'd say right now it's about maybe 80% complete with uh, detailing work needing to be done and uh, some things to fill in some spaces. But other than that, um, if you guys haven't tuned into my last uh, episode from last week, you would uh, know that we already have the first uh, coaster in the park. Uh, even now in this episode, we have the first flat ride, which is a giant ferris wheel i wanted to put something big and prominent in the front of the park basically to draw people in to give you something to to ride immediately as soon as you enter the park just uh you know for me always um when i get to parks especially at rope drop which is like as soon as the parking lot opens and you've been standing at the entrance for so long waiting to get in uh i'm ready to ride stuff as soon as it gets as soon as they open the gates so i really appreciate the parks that have rides right at the entrance one park that was kind of annoying it wasn't annoying because i loved the park but it was kind of weird that they didn't have something right at the entrance was six flags Mac six flags magic mountain um if you guys have ever been to that park there are rides close to the entrance but it's not right there um, my home park is Six Flags Great America, and so I'm used to, as soon as you go in, you have the giant uh, merry-go-round or carousel right at the entrance. Uh, of course, we went to Six Flags Magic Mountain uh, for my birthday in January of 2020, which was the last amusement park that I visited in the traditional sense uh, since the COVID-19 shutdown. Um, I say in the traditional sense because uh, more recently we did be, we did get a chance to visit uh, Hurricane Harbor at Six Flags Great America, but it really wasn't the same. It was just the water park. Uh, what was kind of hard for me was the fact that you had to walk through the amusement park to get to the secondary entrance of Hurricane Harbor which was weird especially since there is an entrance to the water park from the parking lot but that was fenced off either way it was weird it, that's a digression uh, let's get back to the video what you guys are seeing is basically me doing some uh, we're going to entrance plaza like I said this particular uh, part is me putting a locker uh, room right there at the front of the park I really do appreciate parks that have places where you can put your stuff so you don't have to carry it around all the time. I um, I plan on having locker rooms throughout the park. This is going to be uh, the one at the front of the park, of course, just uh, in the more traditional sense because, you know, Great America has them. I believe uh, Magic Mountain had them, but it wasn't out in the open where you could see, at least at Great America, it was right by the entrance plaza bathroom. Um, so that was helpful to find, but yeah, I plan on having these put in place for convenience. I plan on having, uh, them, especially around wherever I decide to put the food court, which will not be a traditional amusement park food court. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert right now. Spoiler alert. I don't think I said that right. Um, it's going to be more of a mall food court, uh, because again, I'm modeling this off of uh, Oak Brook Mall, which is an outdoor mall in Oak Brook, Illinois, which Jasmine and I frequent every, I wouldn't say every year, but usually we go there quite a few times during the summer months. Uh, 
even this year i think we went maybe three or four times just to get out of the house uh quarantine was not kind to neither of us either of us uh so we took any chance that we could to get out of the house and do that safely of course i am a huge advocate for safety wearing masks and uh pp and all of that if you must go out so we definitely took the proper precautions to go out and have fun and just enjoy a day outside but that is something that we did and since that is that the last visit that we had um i believe it was in july uh, either late july early august something like that it's still fresh in my mind so i wanted to pull off of that and i also wanted to pull off of some of the other um malls that i were f i am familiar with uh for the food court so that is something that i'm definitely going to give a try to um if you guys can uh notice right now i did some work with the lighting i really uh I was really pleased with the work that I did in the front of the uh, front gate where I had the colors of each window and I did like red and blue and it was pretty nice. I really appreciated it, but I didn't want to just do red and blue. I didn't want it to look like a Republican National Convention or something boring like that. So I wanted to put some color in here and I did with a uh, green I, th I guess purple light blue yellow kind of spring colors even though yes this park is going to be open all year round and i in my head that's something that can be easily changed like maybe it will be changed for seasonal things maybe green and red for christmas and then the current colors for like the spring and you know stuff like that so I, in my head it's something that can be easily changed uh while the park is closed just to add to the decoration so it's it's something that i'm working on right now you're working you're seeing me work on a starbucks the only reason why i put a starbucks in this park was because there is one in chocolate town at hershey park and what's amazing about that is not only is it a regular starbucks which is something that i frequent literally almost uh, every morning, Jasmine and I will try to get out, sneak out to go to Starbucks together. Um, anytime we go to Six Flags, we we stop at Starbucks just so that we can have kind of like a pick me up. It's about an hour and a half drive from where we live to Six Flags. Uh, we live in the south suburbs of Illinois and Six Flags is not even in the same county. Uh, the south suburbs of Chicago and then Six Flags is uh way up there in lake county so uh we usually stop and get some coffee for that hour and a half drive up there um so i really thought that it was kind of cool that they along with cedar fair uh, i don't know if you guys know this but cedar fair also has somewhat of a contract with uh, starbucks so that they can have starbucks restaurants in their parks and i wanted to definitely try to do that put a few of them in the park as, as well as some other well-known ips for restaurants uh coffee houses things like that throughout the park so that's something you can uh, look forward to seeing um other than that you guys are not really going to see a whole lot there is a build uh farther it's going to be technically outside of the entrance plaza uh you're going to see me do a build for a store uh, on the first level and then it, it, you're it's going to be like a second level of basically a staff room i have not necessarily decided what kind of store it's going to be but um i did not know this at the time of me building this but the first coaster is literally going to be right next to this building so um i kind of have an idea of what i'm gonna do it's kind of i'm thinking about doing a uh themed store a store themed to the coaster um you know just kind of like a traditional six flags type thing where you have like a store that sells the t-shirts with the coaster's name on it and all of that so it's something that i'm thinking about doing but i don't know yet you guys have not even seen the coaster yet you are going to see it uh in the next 
episode. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and chill out. I'm going to leave you guys alone and let you enjoy the rest of the speed build. If you can, please do watch till the end of the video. While I greatly appreciate those who watch through the, uh, who watch for the first few minutes, I really, really, really appreciate those who watch the entire uh episode so thank you so much i really appreciate it if you have not done so already please 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 subscribe to coastal life media we have a lot of uh ideas that are coming forth in the next few weeks next few months even some more um uh park vlogs where you will see me and jasmine in person uh touring some amusement parks of course we have plan our next visit 2020 which uh is something you can participate in even right now all you have to do is go to coastallifemedia.com and vote for the park that you would like to see us visit in the uh as the first park of 2021 and you can actually as of right now i'm announcing this now you can also maybe win a chance to join us at that park so i would greatly appreciate if you guys went out and voted for plan our next visit 2021 um it's going to be some exciting things that are going on and i really 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 look forward to seeing you guys uh in the next year i know it's been a rough rough year technically the year is not over there's like a month well at the recording of this video there's a month there's a full month left but by the time you're seeing it it's about halfway through the month so i know that there is still some time in 2020 i know that uh, some some things have happened that may have shaken you to your core i greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos um 2020 has not been easy on me nor has it been easy on jasmine nor has it been easy on either of our families and one thing that we can definitely say is that we appreciate the love and support that comes from wherever it comes from and for me personally it comes from you guys so thank you so much I really appreciate it. Until next time, my name is Tim from Coastal Life Media, and I will see you in the next video.